Instead of spending your time brainstorming all the valid excuses of why you can't get to your goal and start spending your time thinking of all the reasons you should get to your goal right now, all the opportunity you have right now, all the resources you have in your life right now that would help you in your journey, well, guess what? You're going to find a ton of opportunities, a ton of reasons to start right now. Back when I was out of shape, I remember specifically multiple times being in my bed at night and just asking God for my dream physique. I was like, God, please just have me wake up tomorrow with like a six pack and just be super lean, have that like toned body that I kind of always wanted. I used to just ask God for the end result. And if God, let's say, magically came down, snapped his fingers and gave me a ripped physique, it would have ruined my life. I would have lost the physique probably within three months time. I wouldn't go work out. I wouldn't eat healthy. I would use it to justify my bad habits. I would say, yeah, I can eat this junk food because I'm in shape. Yeah, I don't have to work out because I'm already in shape. And then I'd lose the physique. I'd use it to justify my bad habits. And it gave me, you know, reflecting on that gave me actual peace because I'm sitting in this business journey And I feel like I'm doing what I need to do. It's rare that I feel like, I'm not going to say it's rare, but most of the time I'm consistently showing up and doing exactly what I need to do. I feel like I'm working hard. I feel like I'm putting forth effort. I feel like every single day, rain or shine, I'm showing up and I'm doing the work that needs to be done in order to have the results that I want when it comes to my business goals. Or the milestones I want to pass. And I can't help but think, since it's been months and months and months, and I have seen people who I just can tell, I'm not going to say aren't working as hard as me, but just don't have the, I guess, yeah, there are people I can tell that just aren't working as hard as me, but they, they have the results. They they're making more money than me. They have bigger businesses than me. But I know they're not as consistent as me. And I can't help but feel like I'm not ready yet to make the amount of money or to have the business success that I want to have. I can't help but feel like God is preparing me and protecting me. And fostering me so I can develop and really reinforce great habits that'll have me make more money than I could even fathom or have a bigger business than I could even fathom or have the life that's bigger than I could even foresee at the moment. I can't help but feel like God is just preparing me right now because the truth is I am inconsistent with some of my habits. There are days where I am waking up late. There are days where I'm staying up late the night before and I'm like, dang, I really don't want to only function on six hours tomorrow. I think I'm going to wake up a little bit later. And I think God is preparing me and helping me develop these good habits so that when he does grant me the fruits of my labor, it is something that is actually beneficial in the long run. I can't help but feel like if God came down, snapped his fingers, gave me $100,000, that it would ruin my life the same way that getting that good physique when I was still out of shape would ruin my life then. Because realistically, knowing myself and and just honestly reflecting, if I was just given $100,000, I probably would use it to justify bad habits. I probably would be less disciplined when it comes to waking up early. I probably would just unconsciously put less effort towards my business because, oh, well, I have $100,000, you know? So I can't help but feel like God is preparing me and giving me time and, and challenges to allow me to grow, grow my mind, grow my discipline, increase my skill set so that when I do reap the fruits of my labor that 
like I said, it, it's something that amplifies me. It amplifies me as a man. And that's also another thing. I think money amplifies the person. It doesn't make the person. It amplifies who you are. So if you're a, a loser and you get a ton of money, you're just going to be a rich loser. You're still going to be a loser and all your bad habits are just going to be amplified. But vice versa, if you're a very disciplined person, you're those good habits are going to be amplified if you have more money you're going to be a better person and i think money is like gasoline when it comes to a campfire right like it's just going to amplify things but you know pouring gasoline on the ground isn't going to create any flames right there you're just going to have a puddle of gasoline it's an amplifier is what i'm trying to get across and i think it's very very beneficial that God gives us challenges that actually will make us the people who are worthy of getting what we want. And, and and it's so funny because we ask God for our our end result. We ask God to give us a certain thing. And then when God is putting us through the challenges, is pulling putting us through the bad times that will make us the men who deserve the things that we want. We feel like God's not real or God's not listening. And it's so funny. It's so, it's so true, though. It's so true. Like, we will ask God for a certain amount of money. We'll ask God for to grant us a certain goal. And then he'll give us the challenges. He'll give us the trials and tribulations in our life that will strengthen us and make us worthy of having everything that we want. And then when we're going through those hard times, we feel like, God's not real or God's not listening, but he's listening and he's delivering just not in the way you could foresee because I mean, if you just think logically an eternally wise being is going to have a probably better methodology of everything than you as a human being with a limited brain. And a lot of you guys, if you guys were snapped your fingers and were granted your goal you it would it would ruin your life it would ruin your life you would lose the physique and three months time you would use it to justify all your bad habits just like i said what i would have justified mine and that's why when i pray to god i talked about this in the other video but that's when i that's why when i pray to god now i don't ask him for the end result I ask him to help me develop the daily habits and the standards for myself that would make it inevitable for me to pass the milestones I want to accomplish. Essentially, I ask God to make me the man who's worthy of having everything I want. And that's why when I'm going through hard times, when I'm going through times in my business where things aren't going too well, things are going slow, I haven't signed any new clients, the business is slowing down, or my fitness, if I'm, if I'm not seeing the progress, if I'm getting bad sleep, if I'm if I had a few bad days on my diet, like instead of thinking, Oh, God's not listening. It gives me peace and realize these are the challenges. These are the lessons God is teaching me so I can develop the good habits that will make me the man who's worthy of having everything I want. The point is if you have something that you want right now and you don't have it, you're not worthy of it. Everything that you have right now is because of you. It's your fault and it's what you deserve. Everything you don't have, you don't deserve. And I truly believe if you become the man who's worthy of having everything that you want, you'll have everything that you want. It's that simple. A lot of the times we feel like, oh, why don't I have this yet? But then we think for a moment, okay, well, what are some inadequacies I have? And I, I'm even reflecting on this as I'm speaking think about what are the inadequacies you have even if you feel like you're working harder than everyone else even if you feel like you're doing more than the people who have what you want think for a moment what are your inadequacies and how can you fix them and then that's probably the blueprint to take you to the man who's worthy of having you that's probably the blueprint that'll make you into the man who's worthy of having everything that you want and it gets me thinking too when it comes to self-accountability because self-accountability is one of the most essential things you need to have when you want to accomplish anything that's actually worthy of accomplishment. If you believe that you are where you are right now because of other people, either 
you grew up broke or you grew up fat or your your dad left you, your mom left you. you you had all of these different experiences in your life that contributed to where you are now and maybe right now is a bad reality for you. It's still all your fault. And I don't say that to be mean. I actually say that to help you. Because here's the thing. If you believe, oh, I am i don't like my life right now because I grew up fat. I don't like my life right now because my parents didn't give me the right food to grow up healthy. If you say, I don't like my life right now because my dad left me. I don't like my life right now because I grew up broke. All you're doing is giving the power to change to that other person. You're, let's say your dad left you. You're giving the power of, you're giving your dad who left you power over your life. That takes away the power from yourself to actually change it. You see what I mean? You can't give the power to your dad and say, my life is bad because my dad left me. And then also say, let me rephrase that. You can't say my life sucks right now because my dad left me while simultaneously truly believing that you can change. You either have all the power over your life or have none of the power over your life. And if you believe that you have none of the power over your life, you're never going to accomplish your goals because then it's all going to be up to luck. Then it's all going to be whether my dad comes back or not, or whether my dad apologizes, that's when my life's going to start to improve or whether I get justice or not. Right. You have to take accountability. No, no matter how hard things are right now, no matter how bad things are right now, you have to say, I am where I am right now because of me. And that can be true, whether you're broke or you're rich, you're in shape or you're fat. I am where I am right now because of me. I'm in shape. I have a business. I have a following because of me, not because of anybody else. And when I was fat and when I was broke and when nobody knew anything about me, nobody. Let me rephrase it. When I was fat, when I was broke, when I felt like a nobody, that's exactly what I deserved. I was where I was because of me and I am where I am today because of me. And if I had believed when I was fat, oh, my parents had me grow up fat, which were, you know, troubling thoughts. I used to think, oh, I wish my parents, you know, pushed me in a better direction so I didn't have to go through bullying in high school. So I could just grow up healthy. I could be a normal kid. I could have developed my confidence through my childhood into my teen years. But that wasn't the case with me. But imagine how unhelpful that mindset would have been when I'm in the gym, when I'm putting in the effort thinking, oh, well, the only reason I'm here right now is because of my parents. No, regardless of my circumstances, the reason that I was in a bad position was because of me. And the reason I'm in a better position now is because of me. You have to take full accountability. That's a very mature thing. And not a lot of people do that. Not a lot. A lot of people blame external circumstances for their own inadequacies. And that is a huge mistake. And I don't say that to ridicule people. I say that out of concern. Because what you do, like I said, when you're giving excuses power over your life, you're limiting your own power. I can't get in shape right now because work's super busy. I can't get in shape right now because I'm moving houses. I can't get in shape right now because my car broke down. You're giving your power, you're giving the power to get in shape to those external circumstances. So if anything bad ever happens while you start your journey, let's say that perfect time ever comes and you have some more free time. Let's say you your car breaks down again. Well, guess what? You're going to completely cut out your journey because you've already set that limit in your brain that I can't get in shape when I when my car breaks down. I can't get in shape when I'm moving. I can't get in shape when my work is busy, right? I say it out of concern when I... When I, when I say these things, not to ridicule people or to make people feel bad, I say it to open their eyes and make them realize that what they're doing is actually hurting them in the long run. There's legitimately, there, there was this kid I talked to. There was this kid I talked to a few weeks ago. And the last time I talked to him was a whole year ago. It was October 2023. And I, re I, I reconnected with him. October 2024, just a few weeks ago. And he had the same goal that he had when we originally chatted back in October 2023. He had the same goal and he was even in a worse position 
than he was back in October 23. He wanted to bulk up. He always was a skinny guy. He really wanted to put on a bunch of muscle and gain his confidence. And he was in the same position. Or he was in a he was in a better position back in October 2023, but he still didn't make it happen. And now in October 2024, he was in a worse position. He was actually skinnier and less confident and he um and he still had the same goal. Yeah, I, I lost my train of thought for a second. He still had that same goal. And I was asking him, okay, well, what makes you so sure that now you're actually going to make it happen? What makes you so sure that now is the right time? And he started lifting, uh, listing off reason, reason. I'm in a new job right now. I have more free time. Before I had issues with my car, I got a new car now. So he's listing off all the reasons why now is the perfect time and why before he couldn't make it happen and why now he can make it happen. And I was like, okay, well, let's make this happen. It sounds like now is the perfect time that you've been looking for for the past year. If not now, it looks like it, it looks like it's now or never. You either make this happen, you either accomplish this goal or not, because you just listed off a ton of reasons of why you should accomplish this goal now. And he's like, yeah, but you know, just give me like to the end of the week to think about it. End of the week comes. Oh, you know, I, I got a lot of stuff going on right now. I can't start the journey now. I got this. I got that. It's like, I truly believe that dude will never accomplish his goal. I truly believe it because he waited a year for a perfect opportunity to arise. And when that po perfect opportunity arise, he just kept finding excuses of why now was not the right time. And if you always look for excuses, you're never going to make it happen. You should always be viewing things as... You should always be looking for opportunities, not excuses, is what I'm trying to say. It's like the law of attraction. If you look around and try to find all the red cars, you're only going to see red cars. But then if you say, how many cars were green? You're, you can't think of any cars you saw green. It's the same thing with looking for opportunities versus looking for excuses. If you spend your time brainstorming all the valid excuses of why you can't get to your goal, then all you're going to come up with is valid excuses of why you can't come up with your goal. Valid excuses, right? Because no excuse is really valid. Aside from, it's just hard. It just takes effort. It's the same thing with op viewing ex excuses and opportunities. If you spend your time think of, thinking of all the resources, all the reasons why you can get in shape, you can accomplish your goal. Oh, I have access to the gym. I'm a perfectly healthy young man. I have a consistent income. I work a job. I, I, I... I don't know, like you can think of so many different reasons. I have access to a grocery store, right? It would be a lot harder for somebody living in some village in Africa that has no access to clean water or heating or a grocery store or a gym or anything anything else. It would be much harder for that person to get in shape to accomplish their goal than you. So if you start thinking of all the opportunities and all the resources you have to accomplish your goal instead of all the excuses of why you can't get to your goal, all the instead of spending your time brainstorming all the valid excuses of why you can't get to your goal and start spending your time thinking of all the reasons you should get to your goal right now all the opportunity you have right now all the resources you have in your life right now that would help you in your journey well guess what you're gonna find a ton of opportunities a ton of reasons to start right now and all those valid excuses that you're trying to brainstorm to shield yourself from the hard work in front of you, they're all going to be put to the side. And you're only going to be thinking of, wow, I really should accomplish this goal right now. Now is truly the best time. There isn't ever going to be a more perfect opportunity than the present. Because let's say, oh yeah, it works super busy right now. I have a new project. My car broke down. I'm moving houses. All these typical excuses people like to say. Let's say things get worse for you and they stay the worst. Let's say you, your parents die or, or, or you lose your job. Well, guess what? Then you're going to be thinking, oh, before was the perfect opportunity. I should have done it before because that was actually the perfect opportunity, right? you you have to legitimately be selfish and you have to be ignorant and you have to be ungrateful if you think now is not the perfect time because now is always the perfect time. If you're, if you're a healthy man, if you live in America, if you have access to a gym, a grocery store, running water, heating, now is the perfect time. If you ever if you have all those things and you think now is not the perfect time for you to actually start accomplishing your goal, well, then you're just ungrateful because there are people around the world that have it so much harder than you and still are determined to make that goal happen. 
So you're truly ungrateful. Stop using these valid excuses to shield yourself from the hard work and just start working hard. Start putting in the effort. Confront the hard work and make it happen. Become the man who's worthy of having everything you want and you'll get everything you want. The reason you don't have what you want right now is because you don't deserve it. If God came down and snapped his fingers and gave you that dream physique, it would ruin your life. You don't deserve it and you would use it to justify your bad habits. You would say, I have a good physique now. I can stop going to the gym. I don't have to work out today. I don't, I have a good physique now. I can eat this junk food. I can stay out late. I can go drink. I can go do drugs. You would use the end result. You would use the having that good physique, having that ripped six pack that God magically granted you to justify your bad habits. That's why you don't have it now. You're not the man who's worthy of having everything you want. The discipline that you build, the wisdom that you gain, the experience that you gain, the skills, the attributes, everything that you gain in the journey to getting everything that you want is what will make you worthy. You have to confront the work. You have to put in the effort. Stop running for it from it. Now is the perfect time. Now is the perfect time. That's what I wanted to stress to you guys today. I love you guys. I've been through this too. Follow me on Instagram. You'll see me doing my push-ups every morning. And I, I, I truly believe if you struggle with consistency, follow my Instagram. I truly believe I post the best content. And if you see me showing up every single day and you listen to these videos and you know what I currently go through, you know what I feel, you know my struggles and you still see me putting in the effort every single day, I have a feeling that it'll help you stay more consistent and it'll help you get to your goal. Because really when I make these videos, I imagine I'm sending them to my former self. To that dude who was making excuses, who was depressed, who was anxious, who was always living in his comfort zone, but he had goals of getting in shape and finally feeling confident and comfortable in his own skin. So I love you guys. Peace out.